Hello and welcome to the Home with Johan's November Real Estate Report. I know you guys are all dying to know what's been happening and has been told by me. So here we are, I'm in Bayside Village, Queens Key on a gorgeous November day. Uh, so things are pretty much the same as they were last month. No, no big changes. The market stabilized and absorbed the stress test and foreign buyers tax. Uh, sales are up 14% year over year. New listings are down 9%. So as I said last month, that creates more demand for inventory that's out there. And you know, it's a, a seller's market, in the, especially in the 416 area. Uh, average price of the condo right now is 663,000. That's up 9.6%. Uh, a semi is uh, sitting at just over, it's 1.1 million for a semi average price, and that's up 7% from last year. And detached are sitting at 1.325 average price, and that's only up 1.1%. So if you're an investor, obviously you're gonna be looking at a condo uh, in terms of incre highest increased equity year over year. Uh, I still have noticed that the condos that go up the most are the small ones uh, four or five square foot hundred square foot dens are doing really well they up over 15 percent year over year so if you're looking to invest that's what I would be uh, taking a good hard look at now what's been what's really gonna be interesting to see how the market is going to be affected by the new Toronto municipal uh, bylaw that's going to be enforced the, the appeal was lost on that I don't know why uh, and I don't agree with the new laws that have come out. So you can only do a short-term rental for a principal residence, and there's gonna be a 4% tax uh, that Toronto is going to charge on all revenue generated from short-term leases. And what is that gonna mean? Well, I know guys, I was talking to a guy last night, he's got 20 units. So is he gonna sell them? Uh, because he can't have 20 principal residences. Uh, How's this going to be playing out? How's it going to be enforced? I suspect that you're going to have to register on any short-term rental uh, online program through the city, and they're going to monitor it like that. So it's going to be very... I, I, knew, I do know, I'm aware of, and I've been told about some other appeal processes that are happening. I'm not sure how successful they're going to be. I'm not a big fan of adding another, you know, the classic uh, solution of adding a tax to solve a problem, taxing your way out of a problem. Because think about it, property owners already pay a property tax. They also pay um, the CRA in, uh, tax on the revenue that they generate from short-term leases if they're running a proper business. So now you're adding another tax. So not a fan. And uh, so we'll see what happens with that. I mean, are, are we going to see more inventory on the condo market? Uh, because I do know of a lot of investors who... Uh, use that medium to generate revenue so we'll see what happens there if you know anybody looking to buy or sell and you want to know how I work I'd love to sit down and talk with you over a cocktail and uh, or coffee if it's in the morning and if you know anybody yeah um, hook me up let's get together and, and chat anyways hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll come back to you in November and hopefully I guess it'll be a little more snowy then okay thanks